Greetings, ladies and gents. My name is Rob the Gamer, and welcome to Fatigue. This is another pre-alpha demo game. Now, the last pre-alpha demo game I did was actually pretty awesome, so I figured, you know what, let me give this one a chance. Maybe give some feedback if, you know, if necessary, if it needs any. Um, basically, I'm not really sure what's going down with this game. There was a good description of it, I just didn't really get to read it. All I was too worried about the instructions on how to move, and found out that you needed you need a uh, oh whoops the game I didn't start a game yet you need a controller but he did have keyboards so and I'm usually a controller kind of guy but I was too lazy to try to hook up my controller to my uh, computer so I figured you know what keyboard will just will be fine everything will be fine will be fine so we're on our way I presume there we go there it is. Yep, that's a thing. John Foley, finally I'm here. Yawn. Damn, my eyes feel heavy. And I'm hungry as hell. Long drive really took its toll. I should eat and then head straight to bed. X to view. Hence, which X is also enter. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Nice smooth controls. This really, this really is one of those controls you uh you would need a uh, controller for that's all right we're signing our name in I presume because there's no one else here yay what was it space to close backspace to close dear John Fool, welcome and thank you for choosing uh, Pine Lake in as your host during your stay at the beautiful town of Pine Lake here's the key to your room your room number is 105 you'll find it on the second floor at the end of the hall, on the right, feel free to eat at the buffet at any hour. It's free for all hotel guests. We hope you have a pleasant stay. All right, well, thank you. Just a welcome letter as a reception. Well, doesn't really matter. Nah, it doesn't. Press back, I know. Okay, well, let's go find that damn buffet, because I'm a hungry fella, and I just want to eat all the nom noms, which I assume are in here. What? Uh, I'm gonna pick up your key, and I'm just gonna avoid the fact that you're dead, or that you look like you just got shot in the head. 111. Let's uh, check this guy out. This must be Larry. They have just moved the body onto the floor, I guess. I get what? Why is this not a shock to you? Funny, didn't get the impression he died violently. I should eat and head to bed. I'll investigate more after I had some rest. Oh, because we're an investigator. I presume. <coughs> what the fuck? What's going on? Notebook, October 18, 2055 News. Your Dr. Q&A on this call. Uh, what to do if your child swallows something poisonous? Well, okay, thanks. What's going on? The door is shut tight with the lock and the chain. Is this the, isn't this the second floor? There we go. What is going on with our screen? Were we poisoned? For I I can't really see. It's okay. It's just I guess we're really tired. Oh man, I gotta admit it's a little tough to one of five. It's a little it is a little tougher to control. That's okay. We'll get into it. Where did I put that key again? Oh. What? I, I I just fell in the door. Was he that tired? RIP! Heart failure? What? What? Uh, Alright, I guess we're gonna do a retry. Alright guys, we're in our room now. And the ticking of the clock. That's, that's pretty loud. So what the hell was that all about? Like, I, I need a drink after that. Come on, man. Let's get a drink. I guess we can. I need one. So that was crazy. I'm assuming this is the bathroom. Let's wash our hands before we go. Um, I'm, I, oh, okay, okay, it's getting a little wonky again. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put our dude straight to bed. 
Did he have heart failure because he was so tired? Yeah, it seems like it. it. Seems like he just got so tired and he just was like, God, just, my heart's just like, man, you didn't get enough sleep. Right, beats the hell out of me, but whatevs, man. I ain't questioning it. <laughs> we died again. What? We died in our sleep now. Am I missing something? Shit, I think I I think I need to get food. Ugh, I'm going to get food. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to get some food. I don't know, should I get a large portion? Like, I mean, I died a heart failure. How do you die a heart failure at, on an empty stomach? So, you know, we'll get a large. I might screw me in the end. Maybe I'll eat, he'll eat too much, and he'll uh, be too slow, or he'll be taking his sweet, sweet time eating, and something is going to happen. <sighs> Hunger satisfied. Okay, or... I gotta admit, come on. How does he die of a heart failure on an empty stomach? Like, what? I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'm not gonna question it. We're just... We're just gonna let it be. Everything's so much more colorful now. Holy shnikers. Well, I guess... I, I guess maybe he has some sort of heart condition where he just needs to eat. And if he doesn't eat, his heart just goes... Kablooey. I don't know. You know what? We're just we're not gonna we're not gonna ask questions. We're just gonna accept the shit out of it. I s I'm guessing he's an investigator, but really, like a dead body is right there, and you're not really that concerned. That's weird to me. Okay, now it's getting wonky because he's tired. At least he told us what was wrong. I, I will give him that. He told us what was wrong. You know, so now we know what to do. We know that he needs to get some sleep or he might have another heart failure or something. I don't know. We don't want him having another heart failure, that's for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep, it, everything looks so much co more colorful now. I guess that's what happens when you eat. The world just gets more brighter. I think some people would agree with me on that after you're done eating. Oh. What? Samuli Jokio. I hope I didn't butcher that horribly. I'm like in Hotel Vacancy. That's where we're at. Who cool cutscene? I'll shut up now. Oh. Oh, cool. Never mind. That was just a little intro. Where am I? Wait, what? Oh yeah, okay. I was gonna say. How long was I asleep? Is this still night? Well rested. Okay. That's kinda cool. Got the sort of RPG elements to it, you know, like you gotta take care of yourself, dude. Like you gotta eat, you gotta sleep, you gotta solve mysteries. For some reason, looking at the toilet makes me want to throw up. Are you sure you want to throw up? Hell no! Don't throw up! Because then we're just, that's a waste of all that food we just, you know, gobbled on down. We don't want to throw up. Unless I was supposed to throw up. I don't know, is this dude anorexic too? On top of everything else? Just TV, doubt it works. Why would you doubt it works? It's a hotel. Is this like an abandoned hotel or something now? Like, what the hell? Like, this violent death caused all staff and uh, and all it, the guests to just take off and say, oh, fuck this place. People be dying around here and shit. I ain't paying good money to stay here. Okay. Well, that seems like it's too dark for us to go. And I don't like the sound that's coming from it, so we're going to try something else first. Yeah, let's, let's, uh... Let's keep looking around. Okay, I guess we gotta go into the scary part. So, yeah, let's uh, go in and wish me luck. I don't want to be scared. Mm -mm, don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. But I don't know where else to go at this point. 
They still never explain what this dude's doing here. Is he just a guest? And oh. Oh, pfft, I was scared away by some stupid noise, and it was a whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing. I'm such a wuss. In the age of 13, my mother died from a massive heart attack. I remember asking my father what caused her death. He told me that she had a call from the bank that brought her great distress. Three minutes after the call, she started sweating cold sweat. Oh, God. Key stress is the leading cause of it. Yeah, key to, key to quality of life is... Well, you know, we're just going to take that for now, but... Wow, okay. That's sad. Oh, take a number. Okay. Just took a number, I guess. Do okay, cool. Well we took a number. Or at zero zero zero. I sorta sorta figured that. Okay, well. I guess nothing creepy has happened yet. Oh yeah, door. Duh. There's another door here. Let's keep exploring. Oh, it's just a bathroom. Wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash. After we just watched some posters about Lyme disease, AIDS, and scoliosis. Oh, uh, uh, what? Uh, did you hear that? I heard a ding. Look at that. Next patient, please. Patient, uh, John. Oh, a dude! That's a person! Hello, person! Doctor, hello there. Now what is trouble with a healthy young man like you, yourself? Oh, fatigue. Well, that's for sure. It's a little hard to explain. I've been having these weird symptoms. A little while ago, I started having trouble concentrating. I find it hard to keep my mind from wandering. I forget things, and I feel tired all the time. Even if I just woke up, I soon feel like I'm going to collapse if I don't get back to bed. How is your diet? Are you getting enough vitamins? I think so. I think my diet is pretty varied. I also get all kinds of weird pains and aches that come and go. Perfectly healthy people get all sorts of pains from time to time. Well, yeah, but I feel this is something different. I also got fired from my job. My superior thinks I'm in no condition to work. You're not the first doctor I, s I see regarding this matter, but I figured I'd give it a try. Okay, well, if you want me to run some tests to exclude, to exclude every considerable medical cause, and we're doing some test testing time. Let's get the test. Test, test, test. Yeah. Okay, results are here. They seem perfectly normal. Let's see. Wow, that's all sorts of stuff that I don't understand. If any of you is a doctor out there and can explain that to me, please do in the comment section. Thank you. I think that this whole problem of yours is psychocosmetic. I can give you something to ease your stress. I don't know why he said stress, but I, you know what? That's cool. I got some pills. Pills, pills, pills. But other than that, I can't really help you. I guess you're staying at the hotel? Yes. You should only take these pills in your room. There's a chance they'll make you sleepy. Okay. Anything else? Nothing. Goodbye. Well, cool. The first person I met was helpful. What did I just take off of his desk? I hope it's important enough, because I'll probably get arrested for it. I just took some dude's badge. Some kind of a key card. Well, I, like I said, I hope it's important enough to get arrested for. Wow, this is this is an interesting game now. So, why are we at this hotel? Is it because it's right next to a hospital and connected to a hospital, perhaps? Oh, shit, I forgot. To, I gotta take my pills. Oh, well, yeah, I'll take the pills. I'll take the pills again. Can I? Probably good that I take them. Edible. Yep. And I'll just sleep again. No worries. I ain't worry about none. I ain't worry about none. I ain't worry about none. Because eating pills and sleeping are good. Right? Unless I die. And that's not good. I died a heart failure. Son of a bitch. Alright, don't worry. See, it luckily, the game is smart. It saved right before, you know, I did that stupid thing where I took my pills, went to bed, and didn't eat like a nincompoop. So we're going to go eat. 
I gotta admit, another thing about this game, large, another thing about this game is it's kinda like, you know, Sims in a way, Simsy in a way, because you know, you're, I mean, you're, you're controlling this one guy, you're kinda telling him he needs to eat, he needs to satisfy his hunger, he needs to satisfy his sleep, except you're like a Sim that's defective in the nicest way that I can put. Defective Sim. So, I'm not really sure what else to do. So I think I, I I'm not gonna I'm not really sure, but maybe I should. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pills. I'm gonna go back upstairs. I'm gonna go take my pills, sleep again, and then we're just gonna kind of see how everything runs out. So if anything interesting happens, I'll be right back. Huh? Okay. Well, we found something. Hi, John. Thought you might be hungry. You really want to give this try? I prepared it especially for you. Oh. Not sure if I should eat it. Well, considering I just ate and I have no idea what else is gonna go on, let's just let's just eat it. Forget about it. I, 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 I haven't I haven't really been able to find anything else. I've been all over the hotel and nothing seemed to you know really happen. That tasted a bit funny. Uh oh Spadudio. Oh, okay. Let's get to the bathroom and throw up. Oh, oh, nasty. Oh, that's gross. Something shiny came out besides the beside the vomit. What? Dude, just puke and chew. A key? We puked a key? When did we eat a key? I'm guessing that's what was in the food. All right, we're moving along in the story. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, because I didn't I really didn't want to quit. I really didn't. Okay. However, we are gonna go back and sorry because uh it looks like it's getting a bit wonky and that's the last thing I wanna do is pass out. So I'm gonna do that. And then I believe the key goes to that lock. So we're gonna check that out. But first let me save and then we'll do and then we'll get back to it. Huh, there's a paper here. What the hell is this? John, you really shouldn't eat everything you are told to. Anyone, anyway, you are alive and now have the key. You probably wonder what is going on, and maybe who I am, on the other hand, know, know everything about you, John. I, on the other hand, know everything about you, John. I've got the, ca the case of your life for you. It won't get your old job back, but after it, won't, but after it you won't even want to go back. I want to prove that I'm not the one who's crazy around here, and I have a hunch you might be someone who might listen to what I've got to say. Meet me at the basement. Hatch is located in the kitchen storage. Huh. Okay. Very interesting. All right. We're getting a move on in this game. So, okay. Well, I guess we're not going to use that key on the lock just yet. Do we want to follow? Do we want to follow that note? I don't know. Either way, I don't know why this dude ate food he, that was just left for him and why the hell he didn't realize there is a key in the food and he just ended up just straight up eating the bitch I don't know that's crazy to me alright right key so apparently eating over overeating apparently is a very bad thing in this game because like every three steps the dude just Blah 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 blah. So we're gonna not do that again. All right, I got that key that I said I would because I am a genius. And we're gonna look at that rocking guitar. Oh, bass. Not that I know anything about playing one. Neither do I. I just like mouthing one. What's with the water? It's got red stuff. What's with the red stuff? There's some weird looking red foam in the bottle. Has, has anyone done any investigation around here? Uh, it's probably blood, but I, I guess we're not taking it. Okay. Let's check around the phone. The phone is completely dead. Oh, okay, that's nice. Check in the bathroom. After all that throwing up, I feel pretty gross. Let's all wash our hands here. And nothing going on in here, maybe? Ah, oh, just a painting. Nope, nothing going on in here. 
seems. No, I don't. I don't want to. Uh, unless I'm investigating it, because I can't sleep. I have too much energy. Well, you you weren't supposed to sleep, simpleton. There we go. Notebook. Tell us how your stay is. My TV doesn't work. My radio doesn't work. My phone doesn't work. This place smells of death and shit. Water I ordered from room service tasted like shit. I hope I get some compensation. All this shit. Or this will be the last time I stay here. Larry Harper. Well, that's the guy that died. I guess he wasn't too happy with this place. Well, I don't blame him. This place is pretty shitty, not gonna lie. I, I did. It said I needed to go to a kitchen. Nothing happened. I think I need some sort of key card. Which I have! Oh, yeah! Because I'm a genius and I picked it up. Sweet! Alright. So, this game. I, I actually have a lot of nice things to say about it. Just like that. And I can say those nice things, nice things now because it's the end of the demo. This was a really, really cool game. Really interesting game. I've never really played anything like it, to be honest with you. I mean, that is a little weird that I died of heart failure because he didn't eat or something. Or, I mean, you know, maybe, maybe more like he died of hunger or died of exhaustion when he passed out. But you know, that you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna throw too many bad things its way because this was an awesome game I really enjoyed playing it and I really look forward to the actual game or the the full game coming out because it's pre alpha demo it actually got me excited like so I'm really glad he, he had it a lot to look forward to um I ended follow end up follow, ended up following this game and he said that there's gonna be next to 40 to 50 rooms in this game which is gonna make it nice and big it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a nice nice game I can I guarantee it but it is gonna take a little while so you guys probably, probably won't see see the full game getting done in a while but I will put the uh, I will put this demo in the in the description so you guys can check it out yourselves because I do recommend you check it out because it is awesome it was a very fun experience and I and like I said I really look forward to the full the full game being released but anyways guys I'm Rob the gamer this was fatigue and I will see you guys in the next one Deuces!